All right, folks, here's what's coming up after I take your calls. This is up on DrudgeReport.com. On the bottom of the left-hand side, it's from InfoWars.com and Kurt Nimmo. Army conducts nighttime exercises in downtown Chicago, scaring the population. And this is being done in every city of the country, on record to acclimate us for military occupation. They've had members of Congress from Illinois say they want Army on the streets. So Army Times admits that, so we're proven right yet again. And it's to condition the military. This is okay. Google wants uh, 2 million uh, Google glasses in the next year on the street, hooked into Google, giving them almost omnipresent uh, type uh, surveillance. Police notify family of son's homicide, shoot pet dog because it growled at him. That's an epidemic. U.S. Border Patrol deporting legal alien for 37 criminal convictions in the U.S. despite Obama's orders to halt deportations of criminals. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that's been going on? I mean, you cannot make up the, 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 the destruction of this country that's going on. Uh, also, Trayvon protesters organized by communists who praise Stalin and Mao. That's confirmed. And then all over the country, not just in Houston, they're having uh, Democratic operatives. Every case we look them up, they work for federally funded groups, like this woman down in Houston. And they go hold up signs saying, I'm a racist, and then go on the camera and say, I support, you know, going after black people. I, I, I'm a racist. And the AP knows it's fake. MSNBC knows it's fake. By the way, I haven't seen retractions. We're two days into this being admitted to be fake. No retractions, because they just are just propagandizing their viewers and readers. Just, just savaging you with lies. And now they're like, yeah, the CIA runs this. <laughs> and again, the CIA is run by foreign banks, ladies and gentlemen. It was founded by British intelligence at Yale. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. It's not even debated. Do you understand that? Man, I, I, I try to come in here and get calm, then I just get so angry. So that's some of what's coming up. Let's go to William in FEMA Region 2. Whereabouts is that on the East Coast there in FEMA Region 2 in the former United States? Hey, how you doing, extremist? Good. Uh, uh, what area of FEMA Region 2 are you in there, Bob? New York. New York. Welcome. Yeah, how you doing, Alex? I want to share something. Um, well, not really share something. I don't know, say this loud and clear, okay? George Zimmerman is not white, Okay. Let's wake up, people. No, uh, 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 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is white if he commits a crime. Please, okay? This is getting a lot of people upset. It's turning white people into racists. I think that's their agenda. Of course it is. Oh, God, of course. That's the whole plan. You know, but it's, it's not going to work, though, okay? Because it's going to backfire on them. And all those people together, we're going to come together collectively to fight the new world order. That's what's going to happen. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I and mean, when I got that Black Panther national leader on yesterday, he had to be nice and, and, and admit humanity. But he goes back and says horrible stuff to his group because that's what sells. That's what sells at the Klan rallies. Uh, but, when I, but when you're b being human with somebody and going, you know we're being engineered to do this, there's no one that won't go, you know, you're right. The media is doing this to divide us. It doesn't matter whether Zimmerman's guilty or not. They tried to frame him. So as Jimmy Carter said, he has to go free. But it's not like I'm like, yeah, George Zimmerman goes free. When, when I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. He looks like Kim Jong Un to me, but I don't think North Korea did this. Another thing, Alex, I think you got to get more exposure to that new article you got up about the uh, the black gentleman, which had the same issue. Yep, and it, and it was a and it was a, a completely. I've now looked the guy up. We're getting him on. It was a completely white grand jury that no billed him. Oh, those white racist. The black guy shoots a white kid breaking in a car that rushes him, and the white racist, they didn't put the black guy in jail. You see, that's why the, pro, that's why the defense attorney rightly, rightly said, if George Zimmerman would have been a black guy living in that area that, that dressed nice, it'd be over. He never would have been indicted. It's an absolute fact. It's how you dress and how you talk, folks, not what color you are. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty wound up today. 
Guess I'm wearing my uh, Liberty or Death shirt. That always gets me. Always gets me fired up. We're taking your phone calls right now. Then Ben Fuchs is popping in with some really important medical news on iodine and stuff I saw. Uh, well, I mentioned this yesterday, so I want to I want to talk about it today. Uh, here it is. How adding iodine to salt resulted in a decade's worth of IQ gains in the United States. Let's see, they, they took that out because it increased our IQ and put fluoride in that decreases it. In fact, print me the Harvard study again. And then the index of 24 studies they mentioned. So I want to show the parallel. Take out what boosts IQ, put in what lowers it. <laughs> I'm going to get them to pop in on that and a few other issues at the bottom of the hour. And I got a bunch of news on the Zimmerman case, military drills, the economy, you name it. But right now, let's go back to your ring of dinghies. Let's talk to Karen in Arizona. Welcome. Welcome, Alex, and I want to share some information with you. On August 23rd and, tw I mean, 22nd and 23rd, there's going to be, again, an environmental and sustainability summit, and this time is going to be at the Stone Ridge Golf Club off of Highway 69 in Prescott Valley. Alex, last year when I called in and mentioned it to you, I was the only one that protested. And you're right. They're having these here sustainability conferences in small towns because they know that the people will not be able to come to it. I'm asking, please, people. Absolutely. For those that don't know, the Department of Energy and the Department of Housing and Urban Development are spending billions with a big fat B. I think last time I checked, it was like $3 billion a year in, in, in uh, packages to pay the state-run and, and privately-run Enviro groups to take over your town, to bring in people, carpetbaggers, you know, from outside New York, outside Texas, outside Alabama, outside wherever you're at. They come in, they move in, they, they take over your town, then they give insiders tax exemption, money to build buildings, then they cut your buildings off, use code enforcers to shut you down. Agenda 21 is a foreign banking mafia takeover that selectively destroys property rights so the globalist property goes up in value. It is neo-feudalistic fascism. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm asking people, please, please, this time I'm begging you, if you really care for your, your the state of Arizona, Protest at this conference. It's going to be at the Stone Ridge. Uh, on, Absolutely. Uh, and uh, they, you can call Arizona Chamber of Commerce at 602-248-9172. Well, well ma'am, if, uh, if, if you just give us the name of the conference, people can find it. You're a nice lady. But most shows won't let you put a number out because people sometimes call in and give out, like, say, their ex-husband's number or their husband's number or their... Their wife's not, you know, they'll harass people by giving out a wrong number and then, and then people get phone calls. I had somebody do that once and it was to a flower place on purpose. Uh, so I can't give out numbers unless you're a guest I've gotten on and I've vetted you. But just say the name of the land grabbing conference, the slave conference, the trendy conference uh, for people again. Okay, it's going to be on August 22nd, but the main conference is going to be August 23rd at the Stone Ridge Golf Club. It's no, I know, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to beg you one more time. What's the name of the conference? It's called the, uh, okay, I'm sorry, Environmental and Sustainability Summit. Yeah, no, everybody should just search that in their area. They're going on now in, 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 about, in around 30, 40% of the country. They've already taken over. And now it's, it, it's an uphill battle, but you can still beat them. Uh, and they're freaking out in the New York Times, you name it, going, everyone's waking up. Here's how we got to counter them. And they do Delphi technique, you name it. It's going on in your town, folks. Make no mistake, it's all offshore, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan funded. Go look it up. Find out who's funding the private groups. Find out how HUD and others are funding it uh, at the state level, just like ACORN. And all you got to do is go to their meetings and expose them, and it's over for them. And get local media to cover it and be there to talk to the media so they understand what's going on. The local media is in the dark. They're not usually part of the game plan. Thank you, ma'am. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 
37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Well, I tell you, uh, it's a Detroit broke city, and that's what globalism will do. Obama promised to bail out Detroit, and he paid $21 billion to ship General Motors out of Detroit and ship that baby over to China, Brazil, and Eastern Europe. And Jeep is going to Italy. And guess what? Your money paid to ship it there. It's not just like the jobs left. Not just like caddies aren't going to be made in Detroit anymore or in Pittsburgh. No, now they're going to be made in Beijing and Peking. And the people aren't even going to get a livable wage over there. They're going to chain their kids up on the light poles outside and go work 18 hours and then go live in a cardboard box. That's where your jobs went. They went to Foxcom with the big suicide nets and the forced abortions and the forced drugging of the workers there. But don't worry, they're not going to need them soon. They've ordered 15 million robots, 5 million of them just got delivered. So they're like, hey, you know what? Go starve to death out there at the edge of town. Get out of here. Because <laughs> Apple runs the show and has made sure they've actuaried it all down to make sure it totally implodes China, to make sure they suck down America and bankrupt us as good as they can. Because that's Agenda 21. While they build three new power plants a week in China, totally dirty coal power plants and our clean plants, three of them a week, same number, are being shut down. And Pachari, the head of the UN climate program, until he had to step down because we pointed it out with Lord Moncton, we pointed it out for years until it finally hit the British news. They paid hundreds of millions of pounds to shut down a, uh, the only steel mill left in the north of England and the coal power plant that gave it power to melt the steel up in Sheffield, where Paul Watson's from. And they moved it to India to a dirty plant that guess who owned it? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pachari! Imagine from the 80s going from Detroit Rock City. But Ross Perot warned you, he said, Detroit will be gone. You bring in NAFTA, you bring in GATT. All our major cities, it'll start with Detroit. It'll spread right down through Indianapolis, right down Pittsburgh, right even into Texas. We're going to have our country shut down real quick. Al Gore went, ho, 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 that'll never happen. This is a good deal, Larry. Unbelievable. Hey, which one of the uh, entries is about Detroit and the collapse? I forget the name of it. It's really good. One of the entries is about that. We had some entries that came in too late. So we uh, obviously can't have in the, in them in the contest, but they're in the uh, honorable mention for the film festival, Infowars.com forward slash Paul. You can see the top 35 entries right there. Please make those go viral for all the great filmmakers there. These are all key tools on any subject you can imagine to wake people up. An arsenal, an armory of Infowar weapons. I'm salivating. But these films are weapons of truth against lies. But the people that made them, those are the real weapons. And I can't wait. It's going to be a royally uh, tough job to meet the top 20, 30 people and talk to them and see what their ideas are for films to be produced by InfoWars Films. A Dream Revered is about Detroit. What, what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. And the plan is, on record, according to Al Gore, according to Maurice Strong, According to all of them. Yeah, I like how A Dream Revered starts because it shows the debates uh, between Al Gore and, uh, and Ross Perot and, and then some of the presidential debates. Uh, and, and actually, the, the, I think the guy that made the movie is the guy that asked the question in the film. And then it's, I think it's the same guy. So it's just amazing. Amazing. All right, I get a little bit wound up when we start playing uh, rock and roll, folks. I apologize. I can, I can deny a lot of temptations, but not rock and roll. They talk about a siren song, plug my ears. 
I, I don't even want to do anything now, but here the real Detroit Rock City. I tell you, it's fun when you're driving down some lonely road, that song comes on XM or whatever, and you just slam that accelerator down and hit 150 real fast and ah, ease on back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Detroit Rock City, now Detroit Agenda 21 City. And we've sent our cameras up there for Obama Deception, too. We've got some amazing footage and downright scary stuff. Uh, my problem with Obama Deception, too, is I'm not going to exaggerate. I've got like 40 interviews, 40 high-def interviews with everybody under the sun. From Joe Rogan to uh, you name it. I mean, we've got it. Uh, Gerald Salente, uh, Amber Lyon. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on of who we've got in this film. And then there's all the footage and all the other things. I said I'd go to your phone calls. Then we're going to get into Trayvon protesters organized by communists who praise Stalin and Mao. Now, they're real upset about one dead person, but they don't care about Mao who killed the communist Chinese, say. 84 mil, that's just 84 mil, I mean, that's not one person with Skittles. Uh, and and our, our, our loving government says that he killed 60-something uh, million. But uh, that article's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. You can also follow us at Twitter where we sent that story out at Real Alex Jones. Uh, let's talk to Truth Raider. Truth Raider in Oregon. You're on the air. Welcome. Good morning, brother Alex, from the Northwest, where we have chemtrails, free skies for the past three weeks. Oh, did you see uh, the CIA admitted there's a global weather modification program going on, but it's classified? Oh, but, but Rachel Maddow says I'm crazy. It doesn't exist. Yes, exactly. Yes. It, 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 but they love us. I mean, but the government's promoting Trayvon Martin's death because they really care about black people. That is the ones they didn't get aborted. Everything's a distraction. You know, there's all distractions, but at least we're step by step, inch by inch, defeating these people. Oh, we are. Uh, Obama is in a free fall. It was 17 points he'd lost. Now it's even more with his idiot constituents. Uh, and it doesn't mean Republicans are much better, but it means, I mean, just the, 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 the Obama people are idiots buying into that whole cult of personality fraud. And after he, he cheated them so many times and over and over again, he's going to get the economy going all right. And the mainstream media is in free fall, but that's when they're most dangerous because they, they are melting down and the CIA is publicly taking over MSNBC, CNN, all of them right now trying to get it going and it's not going to work because we know your cia which isn't even american run by foreign banks go ahead amen switching gears really quick i have a question for you uh, ah. my friend my friend fritz springmeyer asked me what's your take on how come alex jones hasn't hasn't had me back on the show since last july it must be a conspiracy yes I said, well, I'll defer that question to him and find out. It's more likely he's going code three with the, the Second Amendment issues going on. And I, I felt the State of Mind movie coming out, uh, he'll eventually cycle back to you. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and also, I put his book back in print twice. Uh, I've done reprints for him. It wouldn't even be in print. Bloodlines of Illuminati, available exclusively is where it comes from, at InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, so I think it's a very important uh, book. Did I say film? I got film on the mind. I put his book back in print, uh, and uh, t years just go by like minutes. And his Skype, it, you know, when, when I get guest on and the Skype's kind of spotty, I tend to just, you know, move, move off. We've flown him here and stuff, but uh, I, I, I hope it's not a case of no good deed goes unpunished because most of the time when I really help people big time, I get burned pretty bad. But that hasn't happened with Fritz. It's, it's very rare. Uh, it hasn't, hasn't happened yet. But, uh, I mean, I think basically I put the book back in print and uh, got Fritz back up on his feet after he was a political prisoner. So am I a bad guy or a good guy? Oh, you're, you're, you're great. He's absolutely appreciative of what you've done for him. He's struggling, struggling a little bit financially right now. Yeah, I know, but, I mean, I, I've done my best. You know, I put his book back in print twice. I've uh, reprinted it twice. And uh, people need to get the book. You can buy it right there at InfoWarsStore.com. That supports Fritz. Get a great giant coffee table book with some of those mind-blowing info ever in it. And then if they sell out, I'll reprint more. And Fritz Spring Merrill, get a check in the mail.
because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. It's Alex Jones. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. I got a bunch of news coming up in the next segment, then back to your calls. But right now, let's go back to your calls. Oh, oh, but here's one out of Fox News 8 out of California. Money for eugenics victims, part of state budget plan, $10 million to be paid to the... Tens of thousands sterilized 
between 1929 and 1974. Oh, but what they don't tell you is just last week, the LA Times had to admit they're still forcibly sterilizing thousands against the law, but no one will go to jail for that either. And that's just because people know it's illegal and blow the whistle, but then they get fired. <laughs> I mean, this government is criminal, man. They put stuff in your water to reduce your fertility and dumb you down. And I'm going to be getting into all that. Right now, let's go to uh, Alan. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm going to get Fritz Springmeyer on the Nightly News next week. I'll try again to see if he's got good Skype, get that author on about the Illuminati. Let's go to Alan in Georgia. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, I have a qualm with the uh, the liberty the liberty movement as it is right now. I mean, we've got all these perspectives. You've got Kokesh. You've got I Ozzie. have a qualm as well. Yes, yes, and I, and, well, and my idea is possibly an anti Bilderberg group meeting where it's Infowars hosted, and uh, you have uh, you know very influential uh, perspectives from all all ends of the. Uh, oh of the planet and, you know, have it open as opposed to closed and concealed. And it's not a felony, you know, and be open to the, to the public, but there definitely needs to be some type of, of, of cohesiveness. I mean, Ventura getting on the ballot. I mean, that, that is a huge step, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, but I don't think there's one big bold step. that's going to beat all this. It's about individuals waking up saying no to the power structure, but having lots of events and having lots of rallies and having, it's basically people getting involved themselves and going out and confronting injustice. That will defeat this system. God bless you. Good to hear from you, Alan. It's a very interesting idea, like a shadow Bilderberg uh, conference. I'm talking about a second American revolution tour around the country after I finish Obama deception too, maybe. Let's talk to Scott in Washington. Scott, you're on the air. I bet you're celebrating the royal baby. Are you into, are, are, are you into day three of celebration? Yeah, right. That's about that's the top on my list about is going out and buying a brand new Rolls Royce for myself. That's really at the high list of my priorities right now. For the royal baby. Well, yeah. Yeah, a long time no talk. I think the last time I talked to you, you had that silly Hal Sparks on, and I was taking him to task about why he was giving Obama such a path. But um, anyway... Um, I'm glad. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Trayvon situation only to this extent. I'm glad that you had Larry Elder on a few days ago because uh, I watched that whole clip of uh, him and Piers Morgan. And By the way, Larry Elder's back on the nightly news tonight with us with updates, but go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, he really made him look like a fool and like the racist and basically called yeah, you know, I mean, Larry Elder is, I, I wish I was as articulate as he is. He's really, he's really smart. He basically called him out. By the time he got through with him, Pierce Morgan had that same look on his face as he did when uh, when you finished with him. Well, no, that's the thing. Pierce Morgan went from a million viewers when he got the show two and a half years ago to 400,000. And at current rates, he'll have 200,000 within a year. I mean, he's a joke, folks. WABC has 400,000 listeners, they estimate, uh, during drive time in the morning. One radio station. These, but you don't see the radio host walking around with capes on like they're royalty. I mean, these people are a joke. We have over a million listeners an hour on terrestrial radio conservatively. Where, where, where am I? Just you know, people worshiping me and, oh, Piers Morgan. Oh. And then Piers Morgan, I almost hate the fact that I got so much attention when, when I was on there because it was on every show basically in the English speaking world. That was seen by hundreds of millions, but not because it's Piers Morgan. What I said on there went mega viral. So I hear you, brother. Absolutely. We'll be right back with some incredibly important health news, your phone calls, and more. The cool royal baby as well. Dr. Jerome Corsi is going to be popping in with the latest updates on all the Obamanoid scandals. And the serious case of Obamanoids that America has that no amount of Preparation H is going to be able to take care of because uh, the Obama supporters are such cult-like followers. Um, but a lot of them are actually starting to wake up. I mean, uh, uh, watching all their liberty basically flush down the toilet in front of them. We'll continue with your phone calls uh, as well. Uh, and we have an interesting gentleman that's going to pop in for like five minutes at the bottom of the next hour.
who has a special offer to George Zimmerman. So stay tuned uh, for that little update. Uh, here's some of the other news we haven't gotten to yet. Congress to probe uh, lethal SEAL crash. Congress has launched an investigation of the helicopter crash that killed 30 Americans in Afghanistan, including members of the Navy elite SEAL Team 6. You know, 23 of them. And uh, the SEALs have all said they thought it was a setup. And I've talked to somebody that is in the SEALs currently. They uh, had a friend in SEAL Team 6 who's actually alive. And been a bunch of other weird accidents. Let me tell you, if you were part of that fake Bin Laden raid, you're going to uh, be dead. Or they're going to really, really work work hard on trying to get that done. So SEAL Team 6 families forced Congress to investigate mysterious copter crash. That's Steve Watson's article uh, out today, but is also in the Hill. So that article is up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We've had Facebook blocking us, by the way, when we post stuff about the SEAL deaths. So, and, and, the, and they're run by the White House. So they do not want this looked into. I talked to one SEAL and he goes, yeah, the survivors of SEAL Team 6, those that weren't on the helicopter, they think it's weird. They were all put on an old Chinook. It wasn't a real rescue mission. We know the mission was fake. We just think Al-Qaeda planted a bomb on board. So when Al-Qaeda gave you a fake mission, well, we just, yeah, uh, Al-Qaeda may have infiltrated the Navy command. And it's like, don't come on, you're smart. Come on, you're not stupid. Who runs Al-Qaeda? That whole Bin Laden raid was fake. You know that they're killing you. The controversy is not over them putting him on the cover of Rolling Stone like he's a hero. They're saying he's the bomber, the Boston bombing suspect. There's no blood coming out his throat. He was set up. His brother was in the CIA. That's been confirmed. There was a drill. They've killed his friends. They've killed FBI agents that were there in the arrest. They're killing people. It's a, it's a government operation. Done the day they plunged gold and silver with put options. I mean, come on, folks. Of course the globalists will kill a whole village to get one person they want to kill. Our government gave nerve gas to Saddam to attack the Iranians and then used the, uh, the fact that he used nerve gas as a reason to invade Iraq. That's how dumb they think you are, folks. Our government's funding Al-Qaeda to kill Christians everywhere because it's not our government. You know, I saw some people with the film The Purge that's at Infowars.com forward slash Paul in the Paul Revere film contest area. And it's in the top 10, I'll tell you right now. I don't know if it's going to win, but it's in the top 10. And they're like, this film's too radical. It shows DHS people shooting other DHS people at the end. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. This is a foreign globalist group, the archetype they use Germans. It's mainly just, just globalist. A whole cross-section, but they do use foreign troops in this whole thing. Where, so people get, hey, foreigners have hijacked America, foreign, but it's offshore above any nation. It's global crime corporate syndicate has taken control and is saying they want to purge veterans and gun owners. This is real. This is going on. This is happening. This is true. This is not a joke. And in the, I mean, if a hijacker put on the pilots, and this has happened before, they find that the people submit because, well, the hijacker, they just saw with a hand grenade and a gun, that happened back in the 70s in one case, has put on the pilot outfit. Everybody starts submitting because it's, it's the uniform. It's like they found people won't fight back against a rapist dressed up like a cop or against a cop. Cops get caught raping women all the time. You know, criminals get on the force. And the women don't, 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 don't resist like they normally would. But, well, you've got a uniform. Yes, sir. I, I'll do whatever you say, sir. This is the mass stock home syndrome that I'm getting at here. And the film depicts the foreign global criminals that have taken over being taken out. If they start trying to arrest and kill patriots in mass, it will be a shooting war. But the issue is, is they found mentally ill people, brain dead people, flat out criminals. And there are a lot of foreigners that work in it as well. A lot of socialists. It's mainly if it's a cult, it's socialist low level and communists that are the enforcers that actually want to go out. You saw the petitions on whitehouse.gov. We're going to bit fuchs here in a moment. Uh, back uh, when the states were talking about seceding or, or states' rights, and I called for a second American peaceful revolution last year, there were petitions everywhere put out by Democratic Party groups saying, let's form uh, a government militia and kill all the Tea Partiers. And you saw Mark Dice go out and say, should we arrest and, or kill or take the guns of the Tea Partiers? And then every Democrat is like, yes, let's kill them. Let's take their guns. Let's put them in FEMA camps. 
And he wasn't just picking crazy people. That's San Diego and L.A., mainly L.A. I mean, they're, they're, they're saying that because it's their thing. The government's good. I'm with it. Yeah, let's kill people we disagree with. This is how dangerous this is, folks. And as things collapse, all their leftist minions who aren't even leftists, they're authoritarian nutballs, they're going to do, just give me my pension, give me my paycheck. Yeah, I'll put... I'll put veterans in a work brigade. I'll put them in a re-education camp. They dream of this. And let me tell you, all you're going to get coming after me and my family is your butt shot off. Okay? And I'm not looking for this fight. You, and the globalists are going to blow up a daycare again or something and say the right wing or libertarians did it when they roll against us. And all I'm saying is your purge is the end of your butts. And I think they figured that out now. We've already exposed the false flag where everybody knows about it, so we're going to be watching when you do that. We're, we're ready to go all the way. We don't care if you kill At least I don't care if you kill me. I don't want to die, but I'm committed. So that's just the end of it. Um, it's like, again, I fear death, dying in a car wreck for no reason, or being mugged by a nobody and dying or something. I fear that. I don't want to die. But when it comes to fighting the New World Order that's already putting poison in the water on purpose, I mean, you, it's got to be resisted. It's, it's a default. There's no decision to be made. I'm, I'm all in against you. Basic instinct, you're attacking me, I'm aware who you are, I'm going to figure out how to beat you and how to expose you, and I've been doing it 18 years, and I'm a testament to the human will, look how far we've come. Zero help from family. Well, my dad helped me set up a computer to take online orders. Zero help, folks. You helped me. We helped each other. We did this. And then places like DrudgeReport.com help us get the word out. And so, World Net Daily and so many others. And people could say, well, World Net Daily's still kind of right wing. Whatever. They're coming along the right direction. They're real people. I've gone and met with them in D.C. The whole point is, ladies and gentlemen, is you got to decide what side you're on, whether you work in the system or anywhere else. We know this New World Order stinks to high heaven. We know the fruits of it are rotten and poisonous. And man, can we get off this 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 road we're on? Can, can we all agree this ain't a good idea? I mean, and, and you government people think you're going to have some macho war because you were brought up by, you know, leftist or whatever, and you really believe all that that college stuff they told you? It's just a bunch of bull. You're not even a leftist. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.